Christina Ross, and this is the Ross Report. Today we're out here throwing some passes with redshirt freshman quarterback Ryan Lindley. Ryan, how's my arm? You know, I could tell uh, you got some coordination in there, so you're, th you're throwing it around pretty good. So it's game week. What do you expect and how do you feel? Are you excited? Um, I'm really excited. I think uh, I think the team's really excited. We all kind of we had a long camp, long hard camp, and we kind of want to get out there and uh, start playing games. Can you talk a little bit about camp and the experience and how you've developed into this quarterback leadership position? I think uh, for, it was a lot. I mean, a lot of technique and a lot of you know coming together as a team with timing and everything. But I think also we had a lot of fun. We kind of came together as a group and you know all became good friends. And there's a bunch of great guys on the team. We're all together right now. Last year behind Kevin O'Connell, what did you learn from him and what are you going to use going into this game against Cal Poly on Saturday? I think kind of just, just staying level-headed as far as, uh, you know, different things are going to happen during the game. Not everything's going to go your way. You just kind of, kind of you know, stay calm and stay, uh, stay composed throughout the game no matter what happens. What is your guys' game plan going for Cal Poly? Um, you know, we just want to put some points on the board offensively, and I know the defense is working hard and they're trying to stop uh, stop Cal Poly's offense, but I think as on a, on, for our offense, we can uh, definitely put up some points this week, and we're working real hard. Now, do you see yourself in a leadership role, even though you're going to be a redshirt freshman? You know, I think there's a lot of guys in leadership roles right now. We got we got some older guys on the offense, like Darren Muji and Mike Schmidt and Lance Lewis and Tyler Campbell. So I mean, there's there's a lot of guys, and I just kind of see, I guess I kind of see myself as one in the group, not not the guy, but maybe just one of one of four or five guys on the offense right now. How has Coach Long and your offensive coordinator Del Miller helped you guys develop and run this scheme? Uh, Coach Long, Coach Miller have a lot of experience, and they help us out a lot. I mean, I. Uh, their knowledge is really just uh, it's it's more than maybe I'll ever know. I mean they they uh, they got a ton of stuff to teach and and I really just I mean I always got my ear there for them to to hear something. Now you went to El Capitan High School and you're from the surrounding area of San Diego. What's it like coming to SDSU and playing for the Aztecs? I mean I'm a hometown kid so I love San Diego and I love I love the Aztecs so I've grown up watching uh, watching Aztec football and Aztec basketball so I kind of you know I want to see us do good and, and that's our goal this year to win ball games. So you guys have a great schedule coming up, and you have Notre Dame a couple weeks away. Can you talk a little bit about that and the expectations? You know, I think guys are excited, but right now we're just looking one game at a time. I mean, we've got to focus on Cal Poly right now, and then it's going to be a great experience, but right now we're looking at August 30th versus Cal Poly. What are your expectations for the season and your personal goals? Um, you know, I just want to win ball games for, for us, and I think uh, I think this team talent-wise and, and the kind of got characters we have on the team, that we can definitely do that. And I think uh, – a bowl game and a Mountain West championship is definitely our, our team goals for this year. Well, thank you, Ryan. It's a good thing you have a better arm than I do. This is Christina Ross, and this has been another edition of the Ross Report.